Adam Jackson, Brick City, once again, with evidence number nine, showing how the book's mentors, who I had named as Rashid Hassan, Mr. Abdullah, and Mr. Allen, they were consolidated in the movie in part by the street doctor. They used the street doctor to play these mentors. Here, from page 26. A friendly voice said, I see you're getting ready to play fishbowl, huh? It was Mr. Abdullah, the assistant librarian. He was always calling Scott's pastime of looking through the glass floor, playing fishbowl. Mr. Abdullah was a trip. He wore a different costume every day. One day he was a cowboy, the next day an Indian. Today he was supposed to be a doctor with a long white coat, a round mirror strapped to his head, and a stethoscope around his neck for listening to people's hearts. Abdullah plugged one end of the stethoscope into his ears and placed the other end to the middle of Scott's chest. What are you doing, Scott asked. I just want to hear what your heart is saying, man. So you, you this see, was a weird thing with working at the library. Everyone who worked there tried to put something different into Scott's head. Rap Jones told him to chase the girls. The head librarian told him to be quiet and follow the rules. Miss Gladys Anderson was all about the gossip. And Abdullah was always trying to give him manhood training. All right? So that's just from page 26 through 28. When we go to page 34, we see Ty talking about his mentor to his mother. Uh, let's see here. You got to work out. You're going to be out of work if you get kicked out of school, Orlean toned. You may not get a chance to fail. She faced her son with hand on hip. That dope dealing karate teacher of yours is not putting a speck of food on your plate. So as long as you live under this roof, you're going to be in school or working a job. Ma, I told you the hustler don't sell dope no more. He's clean. He's the man. So here we have another mentor who is moving the lives of the young who was metamorphosized into someone that they wanted to put in their mockumentary and use that person to rip me off. You'll also see it on page 35, 42, 43, pages 46 through 50, page 102, 103, 104, 5, 7, 8, and also back to page 87, 87. In their movie, you'll see this portrayed at minute 17 and the 37th second through the 20th minute, 55th second. That's from 17, through 20 minutes. We're going to play that for you now. Adam Jackson continuing with evidence number nine to show you from their 17th minute, 1737, that's 17 minutes and 37 seconds, how they used the mentors in my film and they selected the street doctor to be the pawn as they used him to personify the fictional mentors from my book. says street warriors here so they use the street doctor and his crew just like the street warriors church groups community groups neighborhood groups were all getting involved this cake will stop killings see they call them little hinges swing big doors right now you got some people you understand that ain't had nothing to eat today and one of them cakes would stop a kid from killing it sounds stupid but it worked man all right, so here's the street doctor doing his usual mentoring work, doing the great work that he has done in the city of Newark. But they put him into position to play the roles that were originated in Brick City by Rashid Hassan, Mr. Abdullah, and Mr. Allen. And that runs, that segment runs on for about two or three minutes and it's continued with further personification of my characters later on in the mockumentary.